Boundary of Simple Shapes, Part 3 Today we will learn what is the relationship between the number of edges in shapes and the length of their boundaries. Rayansh, today I am going to get wire to put around the boundary of the field. Your uncle also wants to put a wire around his farm's boundary. We measured the boundary of our farm yesterday. Now you can measure the boundary of uncle's farm as well. Then we can bring wires for both the farms together. Okay, tell me the shape of their fields and the measurements of all the sides of the farm. Here it is. I have already made it on the same paper on which we measured our field yesterday. Okay, let me tell you the length of uncle's farm's boundary. It has only four edges. That means its boundary will be less than our field's boundary. 15 added to 20 is 35 meters. 22 meters added to 35 is 57 meters. And when 13 meters are added to 57 meters, the answer will be 70 meters. Papa, the length of uncle's farm's boundary is 70 meters. Show me. Here it is. Just a minute. What happened? I may have made a mistake in adding. The measurement of the boundaries of uncles and our farm seems to be the same. Give it to me. I'll check. No, Rayansh. There is no mistake. Your calculation is correct. So, does that mean that the length of the boundaries of both the fields is the same? Yes. But how is this possible? Why is it not possible? The shape of the two fields is different. Then how come the measurement of their boundaries is the same? It is possible. The size of the boundary has no relation to the shape. A shape can have three or more edges. And all the edges can have different measurements. So the length of the boundary of different shapes can be the same. I did not understand it properly. Look, I have three thin sticks of the same size. They all have the same length, 15 centimeters. Yes, their length is the same. Now I cut one of these sticks into three parts and make a shape from it. In the same way, I cut the other stick into four parts and make a shape from it. And finally, I cut third stick into five parts and again make a shape from it. Now there are three such figures in front of you that are made from sticks of equal lengths. Can you tell the length of their boundaries? Yes, it is very easy. Sticks of 15 centimeters each have been used to make all the three shapes. So the length of their boundaries will also be the same. That is 15 centimeters. You see, the shape of these three figures is different, despite the fact that the length of the boundaries is the same. Now I understand that different shapes can have the same length of boundary. Apart from this, I understood one more thing. What? I thought that if a figure has more number of edges, then the length of its boundary will also be more. But it is not so. The number of edges in these three shapes is also different. This figure has three edges. This figure has four edges. This figure has five edges. Yet the length of the boundary for all is 15 centimeters. You can find it by looking at these fields also. Look, our farm has six edges, while your uncle's field has four edges. But the measurements of the boundaries of both fields is the same. Yes, I had not paid attention to this. But is it possible that the length of the boundary of a shape with less number of edges is more and the length of the boundary with more number of edges is less? Yes, absolutely possible. This can be seen practically. See, let's take two thin sticks of different sizes. The short stick is 10 cm long and the long one is 15 cm long. Now let's cut the short stick into 6 pieces and make a shape. And now cut the long stick 
into three pieces and make another shape. Now tell, which of these two boundaries is longer? The length of the boundary of this triangle shape is 15 cm, which is more than the length of the boundary of the shape with six edges. Absolutely right. That means the number of edges of a shape does not affect the length of its boundary. Yes, now I understand. Let's go to the market now and buy some wire for the farms. Today we have learned that even if the shape of two figures is different, the length of their boundaries can be the same. And the number of edges of a shape does not affect the length of its boundary. The length of the boundary of a shape with more edges can be less than the length of the boundary with the less edges. Thank you.